This content is still about the KMJS K-pop merch episode issue. I might sound like an apologist for this content, but K-pop stands, please hear me out. Like I understand na sobrang sketchy nga din talaga nung episode. Hindi man lang yata pinag-isipan ng production team kung ano lang yung mga dapat i-share publicly. Kesho adopted daw yung bata, nalagmana daw siya sa nanay niya na nagnakaw din ng 200k noon. The whole production team failed to protect the family by sharing too much information. And when I say too much information, it includes the exaggeration of the value of these K-pop merch. Which leads to K-pop fans being target of snatchers due to misconception of photo card value. Pero regardless kung mura yan o mahal, huy magtrabaho naman kayo ng maayos! Manang-mano kayo sa present! Dito nagsimula yung galit at hatred towards KMJS at sa family ni Bea ng mga K-pop stans. And I totally understand. Aside from the photo card snatching, K-pop stans are now accusing and speculating that the family gave a scripted story to KMJS. And that KMJS failed to fact check. As much as I understand where the K-pop stans are coming from, I have this question in mind na tama bang inexpose yung identity, yung photos ng family just to get even? Yes, nangyari yung photo card snatching after ma-reveal nga yung value ng mga K-pop merch na ito. But is it still rational and necessary to expose the identity, the photos of the family just to make a point or to spread awareness? One evidence and proof that the K-pop stands presented in social media is the connection of the family to a GMA artist which is Clea Pineda. Connection insinuates the easy pass to be featured at KMJS. And take note guys, kumamit sila ng phrase na if ever, which means that the user is not sure. It's just a speculation. This is not fact-checking. Ito ay pagiging marites din. Exhibit number 2, Bea's birthday last year. Dated April 2, 2022. And nakalagay pa dyan, Swim 16. Which means that Bea is still a minor. And kung sinasabi nyo na nagamit lang yung bata sa made-up na story, we also failed to protect the kid. Exhibit C, the family creating this page to sell the K-pop merch. Five days prior to the airing of the KMJ's episode. And correct me if I'm wrong, ang goal naman talaga ng family is to sell the K-pop merch para mabawi yung mga nawalang pera. And one good move is to sell the K-pop merch online. Yun siguro yung naisip nilang unang step to dispose sa K-pop merch. And nung nahirapan na silang magbenta, that is the time na lumapit na sila sa KMJS since may connection nga din naman sila. Why not use the connection, di ba? And I think sinabi din naman dun sa episode na the family is having a financial problem. All shared receipts, evidence, and proof of K-pop stands are from 2022. To emphasize na hindi naman daw mahirap ang family. Doon sa episode ng KMJS, wala namang sinabing mahirap yung family. Like, sinabi pa nga na 450 daw yung baon ng bata everyday. Like, sinong mahirap ang magbabaon ng 450 a day? Hindi ko na experience yun, hoy! Ito din naman kasi KMJS, bakit ganun yung itsura ni Lola doon sa episode na yun? Pinagmuka talaga siyang stressed at mahirap. Pero guys, ganun, pag ganun ba yung pananamit, mahirap na agad? Hindi ba naging judgmental din tayo doon? And here is the statement of KMJS regarding the issue. I'm not an expert, pero I believe there is a proper, a right way to execute the episode para hindi na nangyari ang lahat ng ito at hindi nagkagulo-gulo. So Team KMJS, please do better.